All right, here we are back at it. I got back from picking my granddaughter up. She's all good. So I already been cleaning these parts up a little bit. I pretty much just wiped them up with a solvent like uh, actually I used um, black or thinner. So I need to put the wheel cylinder back in. And that goes right in. There's actually a hole for it. I cleaned off these pins and put some uh, brake lubricant silicone grease or whatever you want to call it on the on the piston gaskets. That will help make them move easy and keep them from seizing up or anything. try to see this but this isn't rocket science getting this guy back in here you just gotta do it just do it as I said in the shoe ads you gotta just make sure you don't cross thread this little sucker it will be deep will be deep be deep be deep She's going in, I think. I don't know if she ain't. Ba deep, ba deep. Oh, come on. Do me a favor and just go in there. It's tough when you're blind. Sucker in there. Just the right angle. Are you not going to get it started? Let's loosen these nuts up on the back of this cylinder so it can self-align with those threads. How's that sound? Let <clears> her <throat> wiggle a little bit. <sighs> she needs to wiggle around a little bit here, I guess. I don't know what this major malfunction is. It's real easy to see under here too.
Sweet Jesus. Good morning, Miss. Good guy is mine. She sure liked to ball. Yep. I got her in there half a turn now. Man, they're real finicky about getting those things lined up, I know. Been there, done that. Oh, so that was sharp, whatever I ran into. One thing right there is sharp. I was right my way in my knuckles, of course. I'm going to tighten the wheel cylinder back up now. I'm going to show you this stuff real time because I want you to know what a pain it can be sometimes to do these projects. The reality of it all. In reality, real life, what we got here. in the morning and heading north to get to my duck hunting spot because it starts Saturday morning I got to get over and check out our our marsh our hunting spot now I've dropped the wrench and I can't find it Sometimes I've been laying it on these tires and the leaf rolls under, but no, that's not where they are either. All right, found the wrench. I was sitting on it. pictures to see how these brake shoes go on. But I know uh, it's going to be backwards to the pictures that I have. Okay, we know that the shoe with the uh, emergency brake lever goes on in the back. So from what I'm seeing here, we need to put the shoes on there. Oh, I need to pop that emergency brake lever in and then put the shoe on it. Uh, now let's get that thing done like it should be. in from the back and then as I said as it things see all that popped right in there and those springs popped out 
Ain't never coming out of there, dude. All right, let's. Now, the other rule of thumb is um, the longest shoe always goes towards the rear of the vehicle. And in this case, the shoe comes way down here to the bottom of the heel, um, which you can see is an inch or so longer than the front shoe. So that's just a quick clue, rule of thumb sort of thing. And these could be miserable to get on too. Especially with that axle in there. Let me get... I don't know if I can... I almost had it by hand. I gotta pull that spring back. Just enough to get that hook in there. Boy. Channel lock. Pushing the spring too much. So we push it back. Oh, yeah. Okay. And get that all set to go in there. Uh, miserable SOB that it is. Alright. Uh, that's gonna twist around like that, I guess. Now it's gotta go towards the top. How can that be? I got the wrong side. I mean, I minute. just had the cable in through the wrong direction. Uh, old fart that I am, I couldn't tell what the hell I was doing. Okay. Uh, come on, you miserable mole. Uh, boy, that's tough. There we go. Now we got it. Just like that. Bingo. Now, something else we have to do before we go any farther. Yes. We gotta lube these. Uh, there's three friction spots where the shoes rest on the backing plate on both sides. And we're gonna put a little brake grease on them. Not enough to get into the shoes and contaminate anything. But just a little slider there. Might as well do the other side while I'm at it. Just a, a film. I don't know how much good that's going to really do, but makes me feel better anyway. So I guess what we'll do is we'll put the retainer on this one. Now, we all saw how these fancy little things worked. I did it with, actually slip joint pliers I think work just as good as any. You put them in the large notch position. So they're big like that. So you can push on this thing just like that. You grab it and you push in. So we need to put what I call it the nail, for better lack of a better word, in from the back. And the way these were, this it. The nail came through there. looks better. I'll put the best one on top as the holder, quote unquote. I hate drum brakes, by the way. Did I tell you that before?
you gotta hold that nail with your hand. And you gotta try to get the head of it through that little retainer. And of course I laid my pliers down. I'm gonna have to do this right handed though. I'm gonna take a little bit more power than I got with my left. It's as easy as that. What do you think? Gosh, that one went easy. The, uh, I must be doing something. Alright. I don't see any reason why we can't put the other shoe on. I chipped that shoe, but it's fine. And that's the top of the shoe. The top of the shoe has the cutout where it draws up against there. Now I do have to put my pistons back in. Ouch. Hey, Mo. And make sure that they get engaged at the proper time. you guys over a little bit here so I can get in here wangle this around all right I need a keeper nail spring two plates there we go put the nail through I actually figured out how to use these brake tools correctly. FYI. Now this one doesn't have... I'm going to put the pliers right up here on my knee. I'm sorry if I'm blocking the camera. Sorry for me. Blocking the camera, but this is the only way I can do this. Had a backer on here like so. I guess that's just the center of the spring on the nail. Put the keeper thing on so it's facing the same way as the nail head to start with. Make your life a whole lot easier. Wow, those went too easy. I must be doing something right. All right. Now that guy pops up in there. up on the edge though. Alright. Now the anti-rattle thingy. <clears throat> I've already figured this out too. Let me look at my picture. Oh, I took it out, okay. But I know the big slot goes on this end. for the parking brake linkage right there. The adjuster, we're going to start out screwing it together. I took this all apart and lubed it up. Let's see what we got here. The 
the adjuster spring goes towards the rear and this little hooky thing I mean look at this I gotta see where the uh, uh, oh good that goes up there where the spring goes so the yellow spring goes on the bottom. The cable adjuster thing goes on first. The yellow spring goes in here. But that goes around the adjuster thingy. That turns like that. Now I learned how to use this tool. And what did I do with it? Ugh. I don't go put the adjuster in right now. Hopefully, this little spring removal and spring replacement tool works like it's as advertised, as they say. Oh my god. Didn't go to school. This thing goes on the pin. Wow, I like it. Okay. That sucked her in. We gotta suck her back out here, though. Let's get this stupid brake adjuster in there. Darn axle is right in the way. Try to push that spring back at the same time. Push the force on this god darn thing. I told you, did I tell you I hate drum brakes? Jesus. And Joseph. Yeah. Finally. That don't look right to me. Why is that so tight? Oh, that stupid thing is not. Oh. <sighs> All right. Try to do this again. possibly go that way. It has to go this way. Why does that not kick? 
the heck go in there? What is wrong? Is this going the wrong way? Is this guy going here? I guess it must have to. Alright, well I guess I was wrong. I was trying to put together wrong. I didn't have the... This goes on this side. Thought for sure it went on that side. I'd be wrong, so... Let's see, I gotta find my keepers. Spring keepers. Plates. Okay, there they are. Well, that one got bent a little bit because I forced it. So, I can use that as the backing plate. All right, that was right. I screwed up. I was very screwed up. So, where's my nail? Get the nail through. Get the first backing plate on. The center of the spring. Got the spring stuck up in here in my hand. So, now oh, that's the bent one. All right. I'm going to switch the bent one to the back. I ripped it right off, apparently. So, like, for America. Alright, that'll give me a little extra slack if I let it fall off the back of the things. Will I be able to get the thingy over it? There we go. What do you want to be when you grow up? Sad and miserable. Oh, I got car work for you. <laughs> there we go. Now, put that POS in there. Clean off my pistons. Oh, of course, drop it again right in the dirt. They're just pusher pistons, but they gotta be in there nonetheless. Boy, the thing was fighting me, and I can see why now. Because I'm an idiot! Ooh la la la. <clears throat> Up in place where it should be now. I think. I'm not sure. I know the yellow spring. This goes on first. This goes in the hole. Cable rides behind it. Yellow spring hooks it in. Take your fancy tool. All it is is a rod with a hole in it so it can cup on there. Just like that. Alright, we're making progress. Progresso here. Uh, 
this bottom adjuster. Let me see where that goes. Look at my pictures again. Pictures of the kitten. Looks like it hooks into the that big hole. Okay. Hooks into the big hole like this. That dog hooks in there. Put the other top spring on first. You take a spring by a spring and you kind of figure it out. This guy just got a hook in there and go up. Oh, he's got a hook in there. Put your fancy. In there. Alright. Equalizer bar, whatever you want to call that thing. All we got left is the adjuster bar, the adjuster and the spring down there. See what direction that spring goes. Where'd my camera go? I jumped that. Oh, there it is. Duh. Okay. Where does the top bottom spring go? Okay. Okay. There it goes. From the front, must be that hole. Look at that adjuster. And it looks like I'm going to just have to pull it on that hole. All I gotta do is pop that adjuster in there, and I don't. I ran out of parts, so uh, the adjuster is a little bit more fun. I really don't have any good way to show you that, but it goes, just goes between the two shoes, and keep that loosened up. What happens is this cable ratchets that little lever up and down, and that's what. Uh, Adjust it automatically. Pull this apart. See right there? Can you see that? I gotta get that on the bottom. Those are springs that are strong. I think I got a plan. I'm gonna pull that out. I'm gonna put that in there like that. Oh, oh, she went right by. Dang it. It's a good plan though. Start over again. Of course, I can shorten it way up. That'll help. All right, get it in here again. Hey, Mo. Uh, yeah, now it's just easy to pop it in there. Now, what you need to do is keep. Why 
why that shoe was riding high. Sure looks like everything's in there, right? Let me look at my pictures again. Yeah, that blue spring comes right down by the end of it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. spring that's what that red spring does I'm gonna go check on the internet and see if that springs in the right spot yeah I believe I got it in the right spot I'm just uh, cranking out this adjuster now and testing okay they're just touching so I'm gonna go back just a couple clicks They should self-adjust. Anyway, it feels good. There's baby is on. Holy crow! Let's do the other side. Maybe I won't. I'll just skip the other side, but uh, we'll get back to this. So I don't know how much you missed. How much? Uh, how soon the camera went dead in the last video? I see the battery's dead. Um, I really think I need to change something here though because this thing should be twisted upside down it's uh, interfering so I'm just going to top those, pop those two top springs off and hopefully a special little tool with the hook boom that one comes off Comes off. Uh, dang it, I gotta take that bottom one off too. Uh, it's all gonna fall freaking apart again. We'll be doing it all over again. Here we go all over again. All right, we're back online. Uh, I had some things. I screwed the whole thing up, fixing what I already fixed. Uh, where's my spring tool? Jeez. Oh, uh, this one has one on the end of it. Let's see how this works. See if this one works any better. It's the same deal. It's got a little cut in the end. Alright, well this thing's been fighting me a little bit here. But I think I got it squared off. I had trouble. I had this cable with the washer on it where it was crimped on was forward and it was on the front face of this and it was sitting in the spring so I wanted to flip it all over and when I took it apart of course all hell broke loose. I ended up in my whole thing here. So what I gotta do now is I gotta get the upper spring on. So without further ado, I do get that baby on there. Alright. That should hold it all together. Get that down on there. Them all see where they should be. Now, as I did before, oh, shoot. Where's my cap? Is that a 
adjuster. It's all right. Now, I need to get you down here as well as I can. Down and dirty. Because, oh, see, I want you to see how I get that adjuster in there. Screwed the adjuster now on the right side. The adjuster is uh, reverse threads, so they are marked with an R or an L, denoting left or right, of course. So I got it sit in there now. I just got to pry that apart in the back and get that in there. So I'm going to use a screwdriver. And I'm going to just try to ease it in. Of course, I'm right in my own light here, of course. Uh, Got to move the light. There's a lot of spring tension on this now. that dang adjuster in there. Now it's really, really going to be way too loose for the brake drum. So I'm going to start clicking this out here a little bit to start with. Yeah, this is tedious, as is a lot of Car work. Those little things are so sharp though, they hurt my fingers, so I'm pushing it with this. Alright, and then you give it a test. See how your brake drum fits. Still plenty loose. I'm feeling. I'm going to back it up a little bit and call it good. You have to pull that adjuster arm out a little bit to be able to turn it backwards. And there we go. Finally. So now the job is done. Other than uh, I have to put the oil in the pumpkin, but I gotta wait 24 hours, and as I said, I won't be able to do that. I don't know how much you missed because I found out the camera had gone dead. Um, so I'm gonna have to put the oil in the pumpkin again, as I said, five pints it says. I wanna lube my uh, universal joints, and uh, I gotta put the wheels back on, which I guess I could do now, but you don't need to see me put wheels back on here. <laughs> And I'll come back and uh, we'll show you the uh, test ride. How's that sound? Have a good one. God bless. Stay All safe. All right.
I know I wasn't going to show you this, but might as well. We're going to mount up this mag wheel. And these are Unilug, which I hate, but as I said before, it's all I could get for this car. So I like to put a hole in the bottom, or in the top here. Now I got these all cleaned out nice. They were burred up. Because when you put a lot of load on these stupid things, they deform the washer and the washer squeezes around the shank of the nut. And then just easing that on there. Alright. like a long sleeve on these nuts that fits into the slot to help align it. Just like we're doing lug nuts with a hand wrench. See that offset washer, if it gets swung around, it pushes against the side of the wheel and it jams the nut threads and turns it into a fight. As I said, I took my little Dremel tool, moto tool, and uh, cleaned the burrs off those shanks and around the holes in the washers. I gotta clean these wheels up again. I had it all cleaned up to go to the drive-in two weeks ago. And then the crap hit the fan. But anyway, all right, I'm putting her away now for, no, I'm not putting it away. I'm putting the camera away until I get back from this weekend. And because uh, tomorrow morning I'm getting up early and heading out to the cottage to go check out the hunting swamp marsh and everything. And uh, we'll see you then, hope we'll be back. Take care.